Hi, I'm Duncan Jones and I'm Head of Strategy and Growth at Web Profits. Today I'm going to give you ideas on how to improve the most underutilized piece of real estate on your website, your thank you pages. Of all the time and effort that is put into designing a website and using conversion rate optimization to split test and improve it, not a lot of love goes into the thank you or the success pages your visitors see after they've completed an action that you want them to take. And it's a huge opportunity you should be taking advantage of. If your thank you pages look something like this, keep watching and I'll outline 11 ways you can improve them. Number one, reinforce the sale. After somebody has just purchased, completed an application or has filled out a form, they may experience buyer's remorse. Your thank you page is the perfect place to reassure your visitor that they made the right decision and to give them additional information about the company they're going to be dealing with so that they don't get cold feet. We do this with our own thanks pages to ensure prospects know what's going to happen next and to reinforce that they made a good decision by showing them a video from our current clients detailing what it's like to work with us. Number two, increase average order value. Most e-commerce websites push upsells and add-ons throughout their website, including on product pages, shopping carts, and some in the checkout process. Almost all of these e-commerce sites fail to utilize their thank you page, however, leaving a huge opportunity untapped. By the time someone has chosen a product, completed the checkout process, and given you their payment details, they are prime candidates for an upsell, and most of the psychological barriers to becoming a customer have gone. This example from Jigsaw Health utilizes the thank you page to push a great one-click offer that people will struggle to say no to, and it also includes a countdown timer to further improve the conversion rate. Number three, drive repeat purchases. Getting customers to come back and order off you again is key to e-commerce companies succeeding. And while most are good at asking for repeat orders via email and their marketing, the thanks page is also a great place to incentivize your customers to return and place another order. Shutterfly uses this technique well on their thank you page, highlighting how easy it is to order again, you've already uploaded your photos, and offering an incentive for the next purchase, along with an expiry date. Number four, generate social shares. Once someone has downloaded one of your free offers or purchased something, they are more committed to your brand, and if they enjoyed the experience, think it's a great offer, or are just one of those people that shares everything, there's a good chance you can push them to spread the word around your website or products. We use this technique on our Growth Manifesto blog, encouraging people who have downloaded a free resource to then share it over social, which works pretty well. Number five, grow your community. Once someone has completed an action you want them to take, why not invite them to join your community? If you have a Facebook group, a forum, or any other community platform, invite people to join it on your thanks page. The Washington Nationals do this well, with a simple button on their thanks page, pushing competition entrance into their Facebook group. Number six, get referrals. When it comes to getting your customers to refer their friends, family, or business partners, the old saying, if you don't ask, you don't get, rings true. Asking referrals is hard, as you need the person to be at their happiest, which a thank you page after someone has just converted could be quite close to. This thank you page that I set up for Australian Ethical simply asks for people to help spread the word and get a $25 voucher in return for each referral they generated. From a few hours work, this thanks page now generates over 20 new signups a month. Number seven, improve your database. Generally speaking, the more complex you make a checkout process or lead generation form, and the more questions and fields that you have, the lower your conversion rate will be. Generating the sale or the lead is almost always far more important than asking these extra qualifying questions. So many companies just don't ask at all. Adding these to your thanks page, however, is a great way to get the additional info for segmentation and personalization without causing extra friction. Harry's Shaving Products does this well, asking how often you shave after the sale, which allows them to then segment their database and send reordering sales emails at just the right time. Number eight, conduct research. Conducting research is a key way to improve your business, website, and marketing, but placing a survey in the customer journey risks disrupting the conversion itself. A great place to put the survey, on your thanks page. We did this using a hot jar survey on Australian Ethical's thanks page and simply asked what was it that made the person sign up. From this, we uncovered green and sustainability as a major USP and changed all of our marketing. Not bad from an underutilized thanks page. Number nine, make money. Yep, you heard me, you can make money off your thanks page, and recently more and more brands are turning it into a revenue generating machine by placing third party advertising and sponsor promotions. If you have a thank you page that is getting a lot of traffic and you're not concerned about subjecting your customers to advertising, this could be a good option. The Deals Direct thank you page is a good example of this, where they pop up advertising from Rocked and make advertising revenue from their partners. Number 10, make money for charity. If making money off your thank you pages isn't your brand's thing, then you could also utilize your thank you pages to promote charities and social causes that you believe in. Not only are you helping out those causes, but aligns your brand further with those charities in your customers' eyes. 
Necessary does this well with a plugin called Sparrow, which takes it a step further and allows customers to donate part of the revenue from their order to a charity of their choice. And number 11, keep people on your website. If none of the ideas mentioned appeal and you want to keep your thank you pages simple, on brand and not push too hard to sell anything more, another way you can improve your thank you pages is to keep people on your website. Whether it's a white paper, an infographic or simply a collection of blog articles, featuring these on your thanks page can help guide people back to your website and allow them to keep experiencing your brand. In this example from Tourism British Columbia, they push someone who has just made an inquiry straight back into some very useful content on the region. These are just 11 ideas, but really you could do anything. As always, it's about testing to find out what will generate you the best results and getting creative and building your brand. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.